Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 89 Sliding Puzzle Part 3. It's a follow up to uh, the Flash Tutorial Request 87, which was Sliding Puzzle Part 2, and that's what I have opened on my computer. And uh, the request is to have when the puzzle is complete that a win sign comes up, you win or something like that. So let's start off by uh, making sure all the layers are locked. And I want to start off by finding this space box right here. So that's this layer here. I want to double click on that. And what I want to do is I want to fill the inside of this space with a white. So pick up your, um, your bucket tool, your fill tool. Make sure you have white and fill it in. Now you might not see any difference at all, but hopefully if there is a if there is a difference when we're finished. If not, we'll go back to it. Lock all the layers. Select this top layer called results. Insert a layer and call it targets. T A R G targets. Select that frame for the target. Pick up your rectangle tool. I don't want a stroke, so here, click there, and click here. I don't want a stroke. I just need a fill, and I'm going to go with red. My rectangle tool is selected, and holding the shift down, make a rectangle in here pick up the selection tool go up to modify whoops highlight that rectangle well it's a square modify convert it to a symbol call it tar t a r underscore m c say okay open up the properties panel while it's selected and give it an instance name name T A R one underscore M C. Copy that name. Okay. Now open the library. My library is right here. If you don't have it docked here, go up to Window Library. It'll open up. And there's that movie clip we just made. Tar underscore M C. Take it and drag it in once, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven more because I already got one. This one is called Tire One. So now select this one here. Open the properties panel, paste it in. If not, type it in. Make this one tire two. Okay. And tire two needs to go here. Highlight this one. Open the properties panel. Paste it in. This one needs to be tire three. Click on it. Drag it in this box. Highlight this one. Tire four. And I'll do the remainder of them, then I'll get back to you. Okay, I have them all done. And if I looked at them, this, this would be tire one, tire two, tire three, tire four. This would be tire five, tire six, tire seven, and tire eight. They correspond to those positions over here. Okay, lock all the layers. Select the actions layer right here. Open the actions panel. Go down to the very bottom. Put a couple enters in and a whole bunch of code to type in. Type, 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 type. Whole bunch. We're going to make a stage event listener. 
S-T-A-G-E, small s turns blue, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, turns blue, open bracket, event, capital E, V-E-N-T, period, turns blue. This enter underscore frame is all capital letters, all uppercase, comma, and I'm calling it enter each frame, small e, capital E, capital F, close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Copy this, enter each frame, paste it in. Open bracket, E, small e, colon, event. You can copy event and paste it in. Turns blue. Close bracket, colon, void. Void turns the same color as function. And here's the open bracket for the function. The open curly bracket for the function. And as you start to type this, this in, sometimes a second closed curly bracket comes down here, but eventually there's going to be a closed curly bracket here. And this is a big AND, Boolean AND function. If, open bracket, open bracket, Y-E-L-L -L underscore M-C, that's the yellow block, period. Hit test object, small h, capital T, capital O, that turns blue. Open bracket, tar, one underscore mc, that's the target we made. Close bracket, close bracket. That's one condition. We need all these pieces to line up to their targets. Ampersand, ampersand. Ampersand is the upper uh, case of the uh, number seven. Open bracket, blue underscore mc, period. Hit test object, open bracket, tire two underscore mc, Close bracket, close bracket, and, and. Now, you can copy that if you want, but be careful. I don't need this one here if I'm copying it. I just need to start here and stop here. Regardless, you're going to end up with the second line. It says open bracket, rid underscore MC, period. Hit test object. Open bracket, tar3 underscore MC. Close bracket, close bracket. And for San, and for San, open bracket green underscore MC, period, hit test object. Open bracket target four underscore MC, close bracket, close bracket, and for San, and for San. You can copy it and paste it in again, it's up to you. This time it's the gray movie clip for target five, the purple one for target six, and this time if you copy it and paste it in, you don't need two and for Sans. What you need is to have the two close bracket plus a final close bracket, this one, which corresponds to this one here for the if. And here it's open bracket, pink, movie clip, hit test object to target seven. And here we have the brown movie clip, hit test object for target eight. Now, be very careful with this. And if something doesn't work with this, uh, the easiest thing to do is take the whole line and remove it. Don't try to fix a line. If you do, you can try it, but if you're still not getting the results you want, take the whole line out. And here's the closed bracket right here, closed curly bracket. That's the closed curly bracket for this if. And inside that closed curly bracket, we're going to do two things. We're going to trace. T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, quotation, all hit. I'm just, just let me know that I hit them all. Qu quotation, close bracket, semicolon. And that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to put two forward slashes here. We're not going to use that yet. Close curly bracket for this open one. And there's the close curly bracket for the, for the function. So it should end with two close curly brackets. Click in here to format it and no obvious mistakes. If you got a mistake here, when you test that, you got to fix that mistake. So let's just test it out and see if we get that hit test when we put them all in the right spot. Now, because I have the targets on top right now, it's going to be a bit tricky, but I got to click here. Oh, I'm not getting on them. I must have an error somewhere. I do, right here. I have an error on line. 69 and it has it to a target 7. So line 69 
and it has to do with this target 7 underscore MC. Now, go back to the main timeline. I'm unlocking the targets. This one here should be target 8, and it is. And this one should be target 7, but it's 7 1. That's my problem. You don't have that problem, you're probably worked in. So now before we test it, before we test it, we got to get those targets underneath. So all we do is go up here, select the targets layer, and bring it all the way down to the bottom. So now let's test it. Control, test movie, test. All right. Four, six, five, one, two. Bring the four up. Bring the 6 over, bring the 5 over. Bring the 1 down, bring the 2 over. Bring the 7 down, bring the 3 over, bring the 4 up. Bring the 7 over. Bring the 3 down, bring the 4 over. We're getting it. 7 up, 6 up, 5 up, 1 over, 2 over, 3 over, uh, 3 over, 4 down, 7 over, 6 up, 5. And now it's just a matter of putting them in their spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are all the individual hits. And when I click this, it should say all hit. Okay, back to the timeline, back to the action code. And this is what we want. So in here, along with this trace, win, W-I-N underscore M-C, period. This is a movie clip we're going to make, period. Go to and stop. Small g, small t, capital A, capital S, turns blue. Open bracket two, close bracket semicolon. That's going to be a frame two on a movie clip we're going to make. Back to the timeline. All the layers are locked. Click this result layer. Insert a layer. Call it win, W-I-N. All right. Come over here. Pick up that rectangle tool again. I don't need a stroke, just a fill. And make it slightly bigger than that. There it is. Pick up the selection tool. Highlight it. Making sure it covers that. Modify. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. Call it win. W-I-N underscore MC copy that name right click copy open the properties panel and paste it in double click on it now we're inside that movie clip call this one BG as in background lock it insert a layer and write text text -E and I want some text box here. The text is the red, so pick up black here. And I'm just going to write some text. I don't need it to be that big. That's way too big. I've got the properties panel open, and I'm just taking it down to 16 points. I'm going to write U Y O U space W I N. Picking up my selection tool and dragging it down here and moving it around to fit. Now, oh, I need a space in here. You win. Now, that's on frame one. So, click here in one motion, go down, come off, go back at that fuzzy square thing and drag that over to frame two. Oops, didn't work. Click that one, drag it over to frame two. So there's nothing in frame one. Select the top layer, insert a layer, call it Action Script, AS. Select frame one, open the action panel, stop, S T O P, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. And what's going to happen is we're sitting here, and when we get the puzzle together, it's going to drop us into here, and we're going to say you win. So back to scene one, back to my action script just to show you that again 
this is sending me to frame two. So, are you ready to test this out? Test movie test. Four, six, five, one, two, four, six, five, one, two, seven, three, four, seven, three, four, seven, six, five, one, two, three, four, seven, six, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when I hit this, it should jump into that frame two. You win. Okay. Now, I want to make this bigger because I want to cover it if that's the way I'm doing it. But if you really want, you could do this. Uh, unlock that wins. Make your stage 25%. Oh, too small. Make your stage 100%. That little circle, make sure everything is locked, except the win layer. That little circle there, pick up selection tool, is the movie clip. Double click on that, now I'm inside the movie clip. Go to that frame two, where you have the background. Click on that, and make this 25% or 50%, and make that background uh, pick up your selection, your free transform tool, highlight it, and make it bigger so it covers the whole thing when you say you win. That's one thing you could do. So you just don't just see though you don't see those slide puzzles anymore. And you could also do the same thing with the text box. Make that much bigger text box. So let's test it for the last time. Control, test movie, test. Four, six, five, one, two, four, six, five, one, two, seven, three, four, seven, three, four, seven, six, five, one, two, three, four, seven, six, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this time when we press eight, we're going to cover the screen with the you win. Very good. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.